Hey gang, welcome back to another video. Now this week's project has been on my to-do list for quite some time, but I couldn't come up with an interesting way to accomplish it. So after a lot of thinking and a bit of help from this week's video sponsor, I finally come up with a plan on how to tackle making a candelabra from PVC pipe parts. So let's get to it. The biggest hurdle in this build is disguising the pipe. But thankfully there's tons of pre-made silicone molds available online in a variety of styles to help accomplish that. When I found these, I knew they'd be just right for this project. But rather than using resin, I grabbed some hot glue, let my glue gun warm up, and it was time to fill these molds. Once the mold is filled, I like to use my heat gun to help flatten out the backside of the castings. It also helps to encourage any cooled glue into the small recesses of the mold. With one mold filled, I grabbed my second and repeated the same steps. This is a great method for adding accents to anything from tombstones to picture frames and mirrors. And with so many different options to choose from, you can mix and match to create a variety of different looks. Now that both molds have cooled down, it's time to remove our hot glue castings and see how we did. As you can see, there's some small air bubbles, but in haunt applications, I think they help to create a bit of visual interest. Longtime viewers of the channel may recognize this PVC pipe candelabra. It was used in my easiest Halloween cobwebs ever video. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link in the video description so you can check it out. With all of the cobwebs cleaned off, I can get down to applying these hot glue appliques and turn this from a bunch of pipe fittings into a proper haunted candelabra. These beaded pieces are a great way to break up the lines created by the pipe fittings. The most important part in this process is trying to trick the eye, so using different shapes, especially organic ones, really goes a long way to hide the base components of this build. Because I wanted to repeat this element on the opposite side, I had to cut my hot glue casting into pieces before attaching it. Thankfully, the castings bond to the pipe surface, as well as itself, without any issue. And with a little extra hot glue, you can help blend the seams together even more. Now that all the pieces are in place, it's time to give it a texture coating. I had this rubberized bed liner spray on hand, but any plastic coating spray should help to give it a uniform finish. With a few coats applied and dried off camera, it was time to give this a metal finish. 
So I grabbed a bit of gold antiquing wax and got to applying it to the entire candelabra. It was during this process that I decided the contrast between the gold and black was too severe. So I grabbed a chip brush and started to dab the gold into the recesses of the candelabra until there was a nice light overall coverage. Once that had a chance to dry, I decided to give it a simple patina using some watered down acrylic paint applied with my trusty small spray bottle and let it sit for a while to dry. Now it was time to add in the final pieces, the candlesticks. I'm using half inch PVC pipe and I'm switching from my cordless glue gun to my mini glue gun with white glue sticks to help create the look of dripping wax. This is the same high temp glue gun I used in my creepy candles video and it's quickly becoming a favorite for these types of projects. I like to start my drips at their lowest point and work up towards the top of the candle to have better control over the path of the drips. And once I'm happy with how they look, I'll apply a bit of glue around the top lip of the pipe and use the heat gun once again to help blend the drips and remove any stringing. Now there's always more that can be done to a prop like this, like weathering the candles with a bit of acrylic paint, but I think for now, this'll do just fine. And there we go. A candelabra made completely from PVC pipes and hot glue. I think it works. Special thanks to this week's video sponsor, Shure Bonder, for providing the cosplay sticks and the hot glue guns that I used in this project. Be sure to head on over to their website to check out their full line of products. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. But most importantly, go make something. Thank you.